You know, there's something else related to masking inside Photoshop that I want to spend some time on, and that is something called layer masks. You may have used these guys before. You may have heard of these guys before. The great thing about layer masks, by the way, is they're non-destructive. So it's not like we're going to be deleting anything away from the image or erasing content away or anything like that. Everything can always be pulled back if we are so inclined. So I want to show you how this works. There's lots of different techniques to show you here. And as always, I want to use this initial exercise as the warm up and then we'll we'll get further and further into layer masks as we go here. So we better go and get a, a work file opened up here. So head into your work files folder. And do you remember your trucks, the three toy trucks that we, we had earlier? Go ahead and grab those guys, trucks.psd. I'm just going to pop into full screen mode and give me a moment here too. I'm just going to just isolate off just the layers panel over on the right hand side because obviously we're going to be using layers for this. Now, as I say, there's lots to show you here. There's a bunch of different ways that we can go about initiating or creating an initial layer mask. I'm going to show you the most straightforward way right now. What I'm going to do here is, well, you know, I should mention this too. I'm just going to zoom out for a second. The idea here, what I'm after, is I want to isolate just the blue truck. Okay, so I'm not interested at, at, at this time anyway in the other two trucks. Just the blue guy is the guy that I'm after. So what I'm going to do with that guy sort of centered on screen there is I'm going to head over to the Layers panel and notice, of course, I have background, so I have a flattened image. I'm going to double-click on this guy because I want to convert him to a regular old Photoshop layer. This is sort of the first step. You can give this guy a name if you want. Maybe I'll just call this Blue Truck or Trucks or whatever you like. And then all the way down at the bottom of the Layers panel, we have this icon here, Create Layer Mask or Add Layer Mask, I should say. Go ahead and click on that. Now, nothing happens inside the image, but something sure does happen inside the layers panel. Check out the layer now, the blue truck layer in my case. We now have an extra thumbnail and a chain link. What the heck is that all about? Well, we have the layer thumbnail, and then we have the layer mask thumbnail, and the chain link is telling us that these two guys are currently linked together. So how can I actually start masking away this blue truck from his background and from the other trucks that we have there and so on? Well, we already know that we can use our paintbrush inside an alpha channel or also inside the quick mask mode. Well, we can do the same thing here inside a layer mask as well. So I'm gonna tap the B key on my keyboard to go and grab my brush tool. And I'm gonna make sure that I have black set to the foreground color. Go ahead and do the same there. You might have to hit the D key on your keyboard. And as I start painting on the outside of my blue truck, what winds up happening is I see that checkerboard transparency pattern coming through. In other words, it looks like I'm erasing away, right? But what's interesting to note here is as I keep going here, as soon as I let go of my mouse, I can see my mask thumbnail, my layer mask thumbnail updating there. So again, just like an alpha channel, any black areas are masked, any white areas are currently visible, right? So then the idea would be to zoom in nice and close and start working my way around, just like the Buddha statue, working my way around the object that I want to keep, right? All the way around as best I can, you know, something like this. Now what's neat here too is if I wind up moving into the object, again it's non-destructive which is wonderful. So once again, don't forget, black conceals, white reveals. So what I'll do on my keyboard is I'll tap the X key so that now white is in the foreground and if I start painting in white, I literally paint the image back onto the photograph, which is completely bizarre and insane, right? So again, it's non-destructive. The entire image is still there. All I'm doing is hiding it. All I'm doing is masking it away just by painting with black or bringing it back by painting with white.